everyone. <coughs> this is Two Scoop News. I'm Melanie Mullings. And I'm Shane <coughs> And this is where you get your two scoop of your daily news. <coughs> Man, what? Whoa. What are you doing? Serious right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not working. Are you <laughs> You do realize we're in a studio, right? It's <laughs> not a restaurant. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, I guess that didn't work out. I, I was trying to filter some water, guys. I was thirsty. I don't have no Brita filter. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yes. Okay, to the story, Shay. We are talking about the drinkable book. Well, you can't actually drink the book, but you can take a page out of it and use it as a filter to transform dirty water into clean, drinkable water. The pages of this book contains nanoparticles of silver or copper which kill the bacteria in the water as it passes through. Now, this thing was tested at 25 contaminated water sources in South Africa, Ghana, and Bangladesh. In those trials, the paper successfully removed over 99% of bacteria. The researchers say the final result of the filtered water is similar to U.S. tap water. Dr. Terry Dankovich, a postdoctoral researcher at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, developed the technology for the book over several years. She says, and I quote, it's directed towards communities in developing countries. All you need to do is tear out a paper, put it in a filter, and pour water into it from rivers, streams, wells, etc., and out comes clean water. So I can't, I, I, I can't use uh, that? No, you can't use that. Doesn't have copper or any of that? It, Doesn't? It has ink. Does that, that clean uh, water? No. I mean, this would be a pretty good thing. I mean, it's a yeah. huge, it's a nice book, right? It's, it's a very good help. Given that over 663 million people in the world do not have access to clean water, so. It's interesting, like, they just came upon this, like, all of a sudden, I don't know, there was a book in the road to my trip. Oh, a book, let me use it to clean water. Like, mm -hmm. it's kind of amazing. It's a good idea. But, you know, guys, I like to put in the word, and what scripture comes to mind as we are talking about water and cleansing is Ephesians 5, 26, 27. And it says, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So for us, as children of God, he, it's like he's taking us through a purification state where as we read the word, we see how filthy and wretched and, and broken we are. But as we accept him as our, our Lord and Savior, just as he had come and died for us, he's shedding that blood, which God, God is not only the word, but he's the living water That's right. that cleanses us from all unrighteousness. And let me go into Ezekiel 36, 25, 27. Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness, and from all your idols will I cleanse you. A new heart also will I give you, and a new spirit will I put within you. And I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you an heart of flesh, and I will put in my spirit within you, and cause you to walk in my statues, and ye shall keep my judgments, and do them. So it's like, not, not only are we being cleansed, we're being infilled with the character of Jesus Christ, with his Holy Spirit as well. Mm -hmm. It's quite amazing. And let me finish off with 1 John, one nine. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. So as simple as just going on our knees, Shay, and saying, Lord, 
forgive me for what I have done and be specific too. He knows our heart, but he likes when we come before him and just say, Lord, help me to overcome whatever sin it may be, whether it be pornography or, or stealing, whatever the sin may be, God is able to cleanse and restore. Amen. Amen. That's true. I mean, you know, we, we study the word of God. He's like, he's washing us clean. He's purifying us from all the unrighteousness, all the filthiness, and it's, it's his work. He just does it. And it's not only as he's cleansing us and then he leaves us, mm. it's like he infills us as well with like the nutrients, the goodness of his word, his character. That's right. So it, it's pretty awesome. Guys, let us know what you think, not only of this story, but the scriptures we have presented to you today. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and definitely subscribe. This is Two Scoop News. I'm Melanie Mullet. And I'm Shane Manhurts. And this is where you get your two scoop of your daily news. Come back now. Whiter than snow. Yes, whiter than snow. Now wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Yeah.